hello and welcome to a brand new Timberborn series. We're going to try hard mode. And that's uh, something a lot of you have requested in the comments of my previous videos. So we're going to go ahead and jump right on in. Probably going to stick with the folktales since they're a little bit easier to manage. I know the Iron Teeth have a lot of uh, advantages with some uh, mechanical stuff. But breeding them is a lot harder. And uh, I think that could possibly pose some problems in a limited resource environment, especially with the berries. So we'll stick with these guys. It'd be nice to play with them again. And uh, we've played up to this point, the three maps we played, uh, Plains was the very first one I did last year in the original series. Helix Mountain was the one we did with the Folktales last time. And then with the Iron Teeth, we had this uh, Terraces map. And I think we're going to want to go with a little bit of a smaller one. I took a look at all these. Uh, Meander, I think, is going to be the uh, best bet for us right now. It's a 128 by 128 map. And it has some... Uh, interesting challenges to it, but it's not crazy. I, I think somebody somebody suggested the Thousand Islands map. Uh, this is probably a little bit beyond my skill for hard mode right now, but I would like to play that at some point. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, of course, on hard mode, humans did not make it and neither will you. Your settlement starts with scarce resources. It drives are severe and become even worse over time. Sharpen your incisors. All right, let's go. All right, and of course, keeping with tradition, we're going to have to call this Beaverberg 4. And there you go. All right, so we start off with seven adults and four kits. Go ahead and pause real quick to make sure we're not going to be in a bad spot here starting off. Hard mode is hard. I played a little bit of it last night, try to familiarize myself with it a little bit and see what I should be looking out for. And I died pretty quickly all the times that I was uh, trying to get stuff going. So the issues I ran into mostly were running out of food and running out of water. And uh, on this map, I guess let's just take a quick moment to look at it. You have one water source on the whole map, and it's right here at this edge. You have, uh, it's not a super vertical map, but there is, I guess, some element of verticality to it in some of the outside edges. But anyway, you have the water comes in here. You go all the way around here, around this little mountain thing and then out this side. So what this does is this creates opportunity for us later in the game to put a big dam right here and have a whole lot of water stored up. But we can't do that right now, mostly because the uh, landscaping does not unlock levees until we spend 120 science, and we don't have any science. And we're going to have some other stuff to unlock first before we think about getting there. So in terms of the path the water takes, you have this waterfall here, drops a couple of blocks. Then this level maintains all the way through here, until you get to the back side of this little metal area, drops down once again, and then this level stays until it goes out. So there's really not much of anywhere for water to stick around once the drought happens. It all goes away pretty much immediately. So one of the very first things we're going to need to do is make sure we set up a water pump and some of these uh, water tanks. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Put one of these guys right here. Now I think I'm going to start out with three. And of course, we'll connect these right here to this built-in slope, which is very convenient. Let's put our uh, pathway right there. So that'll be a good place to start. We also have all these trees here. Uh, I think when these are all cut down, these are all pines, including the dead ones. I think that's going to give us maybe between one and 200 logs, which should be enough to take care of the very basics that we need. We just can't do anything extravagant like building uh, lodges yet which is unfortunate because that's the only way that the folktales can breed. So we'll need to keep an eye out on that stuff and uh, try to build lodges as soon as we can. That's the wrong button. There we go. Let's get this whole area marked for cutting. We are going to go back and remove these extraneous uh, green squares because as a number of you have told me in the comments, this actually hurts the performance of the game rather severely when you uh, get a little bit further along. So we are not going to want to let that happen. We'll just have to make sure we kind of stay on top of things and don't let anything get out of hand. So that's going to be our cutting areas. And of course, we're going to need some lumberjack flags. I would like to get by with just having two that will cover pretty much all of this. So I think... I think we'll go with these two right here. Put in our uh, little pathway here. And we also need to get 
uh, gather a flag set up for all of these berries, and we need to get food going as soon as possible. I'm going to put two gathering flags out. Um, the first drought shouldn't come until after a full cycle of growth for potatoes and carrots. Uh, potatoes might be on the very edge, depending on when it decides to uh, set the start of the drought. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plant a bunch of carrots. And then we'll do a couple of potatoes as well. And then we'll go ahead and put in a farmhouse. Now, keep in mind, we're not going to be building all this at once. It's all going to kind of come in uh, staggered uh, bits here. We're obviously going to prioritize one of the lumberjack flags, one water pump, and one water tank, and a gatherer flag first. So that way we have water taken care of, we have food taken care of, and we have gathering food taken care of. And then as the wood comes in, we'll be able to get our uh, supplies to start building other stuff because we need to build a forester because there's nowhere else we can currently get to unless we have planks to build stairs. And we're not going to have enough planks to build stairs unless we have wood to grow into planks. And of course, lumber mill is only 15, uh, 15 logs, but the forester requires planks. So we're going to have to uh, find a spot somewhere. We, we won't we won't build that quite yet, but let's go ahead and get these guys going. We're gonna have to be very, very on top of stuff here. Again, we only have seven adults too, so that's two, that's four, that's gonna be five jobs. And this is seven with these two guys here. So we're going to deprioritize well actually we can't deprioritize the farmhouse. We're going to deprioritize the lumberjack flag, or the second lumberjack flag and the second gatherer flag. Look, that's a little baby beaver. But we really need to make sure we get water. ASAP. So it's good that that's going to be built very quickly here. Get this guy pumping. Doing his thing. And then uh, they'll start gathering the wood. We don't need to build a log pile because these will hold 20 logs apiece and we're going to be building stuff anyway. So as soon as that becomes a thing, then we're not really going to have to worry about it. Of course, these guys have to go to sleep. But now they can wake up and they can build us some water tanks, because we're definitely going to need them. Theoretically, we probably could have two of these, but I don't have enough beavers to spare to run stuff. And one of these, if it's operating properly, and by operating properly, I mean extending working hours until the drought comes, then it should be able to fill all of these, assuming they can get built fast enough. Of course, they're waiting for logs here, but I really need them to build this ASAP. So let's reprioritize here because this guy can keep pumping water forever, pretty much. But we got to get these got to get this farmhouse built like ASAP or else these uh, carrots are not going to be grown in time. I lied, 24 hour working hours. We, we gotta get this farmhouse built. Because unless these carrots are uh, planted like immediately on day three, it's just not gonna go well. All right, get, get planting dudes, let's go. We cannot afford to do the potatoes at this point. They're not gonna finish growing before they dry out. So I'm going to deplant the potatoes and put in more carrots instead. The goal is to have just all of this planted as much as we can on day three. I might even just go ahead and plant more carrots because we're going to need, we're going to need, and I mean need these carrots because if the first drought is a week long and all we have is berries, we're done. It's over. Just don't even bother. Just hit reset. The good news is our water is looking good. We can go ahead and give these guys a nice break as they collapse exhausted. But we did get... Looks like we did get all of our carrots planted, so that's good. So now I think we can turn our attention to... Uh, well, this is almost done. Turn our attention to putting in a lumber mill. Actually, first, we need an inventor for science. Because we're going to need a forester. It's not going to be mission critical to have this done before the first uh, drought comes because we already have most of the life-sustaining stuff done. It's just going to be a little boring for this drought when there's 
nothing else going on. Alright, of course these guys don't really need to be doing anything while the uh, carrots are growing. Alright, so that's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and put in two more of these because we have the extra um, wood right now. I'm not really going to be worried about that, but we are definitely going to need storage. Uh, this guy is uh, doing his thing. Kind of, not really, because it's... Uh, should not have left that at 16 hours. We really we, we need 60 science to get this forester going. In the meantime, I can go ahead and put in a lumber mill. We're going to have to put in a power wheel. Even, as much as I don't like these, it's the only way to currently power this. So we'll go ahead and do that. Put in the path behind here. I know you're not just sitting here. Let's go. You got logs to transport, my dude. Alright, and I imagine we're probably going to get the first drought warning. Probably on day 6 or day 7. Uh, these are over half grown, which is excellent. We're going to prioritize uh, gathering. They're going to try and plant another crop of carrots. It's not going to work because it's going to dry out, but we'll have this whole first harvest, which is going to be fantastic. We're going to have to have a warehouse to store most of it in, I think. So we're going to go ahead and build one right there. These guys are all thirsty at the same time. Well, we have plenty of water. Go get water. Yep, there we go. So the drought is going to begin on day nine. Probably going to be almost a week if I had to... Uh, you just kind of Sleeping? You good, dude? All right. All right, and of course this doesn't have any power because this isn't done yet, so let's just go ahead and keep that paused for now. We are doing okay, though. We do have a lot of the, uh, the wood left. If we were faster on cutting the wood, I would try to put, I would, I would try to put a dam here, but, you know, we're just not there yet. And there's other stuff that's a little more important to use the wood for. And once this uh, power wheel is done, we're going to need them to uh, get on here and make us some planks. Although I suspect we're not going to have the uh, forester built until sometime in the middle of the first drought. We'll see. Just needs two more logs. And looks like that's good to go. We'll go ahead and turn that on. Uh, now, the Forester requires seven planks. So we're going to stop this as soon as they make seven planks. So we don't need to be wasting any more time with that. Or any more logs, for that matter. So we'll just keep a close eye on this. Our guy is gathering all the carrots. Very slowly. Okay, we have... I guess... Why, why is our number of planks going down? This should not be going down. Okay, we have three. But it went down to like two. So where are they putting the other planks? Because I can't research the uh, thing yet. Okay, four. Oh, it's going to be uh, right down to the wire, isn't it? All right, 57 science. Come on, give me to 60. Let's go. Okay, 61. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the forester. Um, we're going to go ahead and plant this. I think right here. Yeah, that should, should still be okay. We'll prioritize our construction there. Okay, these guys definitely need to be employed. Okay. Um why are we not making why are we not making anything? 
Now they can keep gathering this, I think, for up to two days after the drought starts, so we should be in good shape. We need one more plank. Okay, so we can pause this now. And we can pause that now. Alright, so... Uh, he's not going to start actually, you know, growing much of anything. But I am going to go ahead and plant a bunch of maples, and then we'll plant some pines as well. Just because we just, we just need the wood. I think all those should grow too. We'll let him, uh, him get going. I really probably should have built another farmhouse to get this a little faster because these uh these carrots are going to go dry pretty quick but we should be okay going into the drought it's going to be oh only four days okay i thought it was going to be a lot longer than that we're actually going to be in really good shape these will dry out in two days it's not going to take them two days to get the rest of this uh harvested here yeah, but you see how fast the water goes away? That's going to be uh, a big priority for our next one. Our next drought is getting some uh, some dams built here, but I just don't have enough wood yet. And I'm not going to have enough wood until some of these trees grow, which is going to be a problem. And I'm kind of tempted to put another farmhouse up. Just to... Uh, Make sure we can, you know, actually do something here. Because I'm going to need some stairs pretty soon. I guess we can build another farmhouse. We can shuffle people around, but we definitely do need them to be harvested ASAP. Alright, so let's go build this thing. And then we'll get people, uh, get people working in here. All right, you guys can go do something else. And by something else, I mean work in our district center. Because these are going to start drying out pretty quick. And I absolutely hate it when this food dries out. Makes me kind of angry. But now we have four beavers that can harvest. So hopefully that can go a little bit quicker. We should still be all right. And right now there's not really much else we can do outside of just keeping up with our stuff. We definitely need to build levees as quickly as we can. We're going to want to put a... Somewhere over here we're going to want to put a levee. I think it's going to end up being over here. And then put a dam across. Maybe somewhere right around here. But of course we have to have 120 to get the SC. Some of this is already drying out, so I'm glad that we have the carrots we do have. That's going to be helpful. Alright, so now we can put that back to a regular job priority. Levies, of course, only need the, uh, the logs. They don't need any planks, so we're going to keep this paused for probably a pretty good while. And these guys are not going to... Oh, okay. That's right, because this was not marked as a uh, high-priority job. I guess we can mark the uh, logging as a high-priority job, and I don't think it has any cost to uh, build a log pile, so we might just go ahead and put one up. Yeah. Just so they can start doing that, because we are going to need need <laughs> some of this stuff. Oh, we have four vacant jobs just because, you know, I was going to just go ahead and pause this first one. Let them go uh, do any amount of work somewhere else. Probably don't need that. I'm kind of tempted to put another inventor hut in, but uh, we don't really have enough beavers to do that. We should probably build houses before we worry about any of that. But I want to get levees first. They're not going to die from being homeless. We're just not going to get any more beavers. 
which is going to become a problem if we start having older beavers die off. But I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure these guys should be able to get uh, science mm, pretty quickly. I guess I could spare 12 logs, maybe. I don't know, maybe not. It's just, it's going to be so close. <laughs> At least the drought's over. We can get back to uh, the growing stuff. I'm going to turn that back on so they can start planting as soon as possible. And then while it's growing, we can go ahead and pause. I think, I always click want to click that to do potatoes. Um, I'm going to want to put potatoes in somewhere. Let's actually make uh, this entire back row into potatoes. Because if we can manage to store a little bit of water here, we can actually keep growing stuff. Which is going to be super nice. Okay, now stuff's growing. We don't need... We'll just have to remember to unpause these. Because we're definitely going to need to. Come on, give me some science. I need 20 more science. Which I think is probably going to warrant building another one of these. Just because uh, they get one science per hour and they're working 20 hour days. And I need to build this immediately. Alright, so now we've significantly increased our speed. Pumping water, going well. 111, come on, big money. Give me 120. Should be getting there pretty soon here. Alright, one more. There we go. Alright, let's unlock the levee. And let's go ahead and put... Let's try just right here. Then put a dam on top. Oh, that's actually not really gonna not really gonna do anything. Okay. Well that's uh that's fine. Guess we didn't need that anyway. Uh, we're gonna need to unlock stairs. That's gonna be a problem. So we're only gonna be able to build this one. We don't have a path. I think that should still reach. Yeah, should be fine. Too far from a district. What about now? I predict frustration. So we'll just kind of leave this path here, I think we're going to uh, we're going to fix that eventually. I just need the stairs. Okay, so that's growing okay. Let's go ahead and unpause this guy and this guy. Start making some more uh, some more stuff. Okay, did I actually plant? Yes. That guy just has to go finish his planting. Alright, and we have not 70 stairs, 70 stairs, 70 science yet for the stairs. We're going to get there as soon as we can. Come on. I need the stairs. Alright. Unlock the stairs. Put the stairs there. Get that going. And then I don't think we're going to need any more stairs for the time being. So let's go ahead and pause these two. So we can restart that at any time. We can hire those guys back again. These carrots, uh, probably tomorrow in-game, will be ready for harvest. 
Broken teeth. Okay, well then he can't work at the uh, thing anymore. We have a drought in three days, so we really, really need to get these done. So let's uh, let's prioritize building these things, shall we? Although I think that's pretty much the highest priority you can possibly get. If we can store some water here, we're going to be in really, really good shape. All right, and these guys can get to work here harvesting the carrots. I think we can uh, deprioritize our inventors for the time being. Let these guys get to work. But obviously our main priority is to get this levy in place. All right, let's go, Bucko. You got two days. Two days. Let's see. Do I have 25 logs to build a grill? I sure do. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and put one of those there. Obviously, the uh, levy comes first. So I guess we can pause this for the time being. Okay. That also has the added benefit of having more land to be uh, available for growing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that guy going. Let's go. Finish it. Cool. All right, that's a big help. That's going to help us out a ton. And now we can uh, get rid of two of those guys. Let's get these things harvested. And these potatoes should be growing pretty soon as well. Uh, let's now think about putting in a tooth grindstone for our lumberjack buddies. I think we're going to be fine. Should be in good shape for this second drought cycle here. And if this can stay wet throughout the entire drought, then that means these trees will keep growing, which is great news for us in the future. It's going to be potatoes, which have not grown yet. Should be probably the first day of the drought. Those should start popping up. Now we have this whole area here. We're going to probably want to start building a levee. I guess we can start... Uh, by doing something like this. Probably need to put in some temporary path to get them to actually build that stuff. I think we're doing fine. We're doing good. Drought has begun. We've got 165 water stored up. It's only a five day drought, which is good for, for now. There goes that water, which means we can Pause this guy, because he doesn't have to pump anymore. And actually, we can... Uh, we can replant as soon as this is... Uh, all done. Which they are going to go ahead and do. Now we have... Uh, okay, we've had some beavers die of old age. So now we finally... Well, we don't have any more wood because we've been uh, building all this stuff. But the next thing we need to do is put in some lodges so we can, uh, you know, start making more beavers. So that's going to be good for six. That's going to be good for nine. I think if I build a mirror lodge, it's going to be good for 12. That's going to be good for 15. So we'll start with that. That's going to be a lot of wood we don't currently have. But these trees should be coming uh, available hopefully pretty soon. And this drought is not going to be long enough for all this water to go away. 
So we just have to make sure that this will last us long enough, which it looks like it will. But we're going to have to pretty quickly get aggressive about our water storage because these drafts are only going to get longer. And we're going to need to have plenty stored up. Because so now we already have a huge amount of... Uh, that was loud. We have a huge amount of jobs that aren't being done. So let's go ahead and pause the farms. Should be okay. In fact, I'm going to low priority these levees, make sure we get our uh, lodges built first. But of course, again, we cannot do anything until these trees grow, which is going to be for, I think for a lot of this could be until well after the drought is over. Actually, this one's done. It's only going to give us two. These trees probably aren't going to grow during this episode. Probably going to be the next one. Boy, I sure hope this series lasts longer than one episode. <laughs> it's going to be bad if it doesn't. But we are doing good. We have a lot of food stored up. We have uh, adequate supply of water. When we get more than nine beavers, it's going to be imperative that we have more water stored up. But for now, we just need to make sure these lodges get built. Which is going to be... Oh, happier than ever. Is that because... Why? Oh, because we're all... Uh, we're all hunger, thirsted, and sleeped out. Is that what it is? Okay, that warehouse is full, which means we need another one. I'm not going to build another one right now. Because we uh, don't have the supplies for it. We really need really need logs to be building our uh, our lodges. Because that's the only way we're going to get more beavers. Now the only thing we can really do is wait, which is boring to watch, I'm sure. But we are making good progress, so... You don't have to worry about that. I guess before this floods, we could harvest these berries and these dandelions over here. I think I can get a path to go all the way over here. I don't know if that's going to be in range. Oh, it sure is. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's get these guys uh get these guys harvesting over here. Because eventually we're gonna flood all this. But there's berries we can use, so let's go ahead and get them. And the you know the dandelions as well will be useful in the future. We can always plant more, but if they're already there, you might as well get them. We're just in the unfortunate situation of not having enough wood to build housing yet. And our beavers are really starting to get old. All right. Drought is just about over. And these trees should be growing. Hopefully a lot quicker than they currently are. All right, let's unpause these and start getting these carrots gathered up here. Yep, here comes the water again. Man, waiting is the worst. 96%, 96%, 97%. Yeah, there's going to be a few of these that are ready to go. We should have lodges pretty soon now. Of course, this is flooded. Which means these are probably going to... Uh, die before too long here. Okay, I am I'm begging you guys build this lodge please. <laughs> okay. Unpause the water pump. 
should always be prioritized. Okay, nobody's working there. Okay, that's fine to not have. Okay, well, this guy is going to need to be working here, but we uh, kind of don't have enough beavers. At least we have that one built. Boy, this is going to be a mess if, if this doesn't work right. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have a lot of beavers dying pretty soon because I think they only really live to be 40 or 50 days most times. And we're already... It's not going to tell me how many total days. No. But we're already just about at 40. All right, so let's get this third one built here. It needs to be a big priority. Is that because we have more guys sleeping? Yep. Okay, it looks good. And as soon as we have at least three of these lodges built, I'm going to build another warehouse. Yes. I guess I could go ahead and put it down. But it needs to be low priority. Or I could just make all these high priority and make that normal priority. Yeah. But now we have plenty of this stuff popping up anyway, so I think we're going to be all right. Looks like food and water are going to be just fine for us here. I think we'll go probably through the rest of cycle three and it's a drought and where we call it a day for today's episode. Try to keep about an hour in length. So you guys seem to like that kind of a, uh, a deal. But anyway, now we can start having some baby beavers. And there's one already. That was really fast. <laughs> Sheesh. Well, we'll get this one done. We should be able to, uh, yeah, see another one died of old age. So it's, it's good that we had... Because we had another beaver get born there. Or else this was going to get really ugly really quick. Because we're going to be in pretty bad shape. If we don't get at least a couple more beavers born in the next couple of days. Because we're not going to have anybody to run any of these, uh, these jobs here. We definitely need that. I don't know, somebody come... Okay, we got to prioritize the lumberjack flag. Alright, so they need to lumberjack, and then they need to go over and work in the district center. Alright. Farm guys. We can't really have four beavers working on the farm. Yeah, so here comes a drought in three more days. I told you these droughts are going to get obnoxious. There's only five days of the wet season on this one. If it's going to be that short, we might be able to do four whole cycles in this video. I don't know. We'll see. Well, we now have the space for a lot more beaver births, so... That's looking good. We have that all done. We'll get this other warehouse built... And then I think they're going to start working on these levees over here. But they need to get busy making more beavers. Or else we're going to be in a uh, pretty rough spot. Looks like this storage is all full again, which is good. That was plenty of water. And we have fewer beavers now anyway, so I think that's fine. Uh, if these bushes die, they probably won't being flooded at least so we can harvest those and I don't care if they die die because now we have a pretty stable food supply and we don't need berries like we do in the iron teeth to uh, raise babies so that's good so it's not going to be a big loss if these go bye bye but I did want to take advantage of them while they were there I don't know why they built this one first doesn't seem to be making any sense but that's fine, I guess. Go 
We have 29 potatoes that need to be grilled. I just can't spare anybody to grill potatoes. Okay, we need our uh, our forester to be planting trees, though. Got to make that a priority. To oh, that is not going to work as a priority job. Wow. Okay, where are these people working? Okay, they're working in the farmhouse, the district center, water pump. Okay, so that's only, that's four, that's only five, oh, lumberjack flags, duh. Okay, that's fine. I guess I can just make one of these a regular priority job, have this guy go over here to the forester. These two babies should grow up sometime during the next drought. I think we'll be... We'll be fine, they just need to make more. We should see another couple pop up in the next few minutes here. Now all we can do is wait. I guess we can put another uh, another water tank in here. Prioritize that. Even though this water is going to go away almost immediately. Maybe they can uh, maybe they can make that happen. I don't know. Get this thing built. Let's go. Nobody really. Bring me your logs. Oh, never mind. It's all dry again. All right, well, this can get paused. Those are already low priority. Okay, we got that one guy working there. Anybody working at this thing? Yes. Okay, so the dandelions died. Too bad, so sad. Not going to miss them get rid of those. We don't have to get rid of those. I just hate looking at them. Okay, we can get rid of these that are all dead. Yes, this is a massive waste of time, but our guys aren't going to have too much to do anyway, so, you know, could be worse. Eight-day drought, though. That's uh, not inspiring a lot of confidence in our uh, water supply here. I think we should be okay. I can always build another uh, water pump over here. I probably should, actually. Well, if it gets a dire, I'll do that. But I don't think we need it. Of course, now that we only have the... Uh, the six beavers. Probably should not be planting any more food right now. Huh, we're just waiting. Just waiting. So in the meantime, while they're doing that, let's take a look around the rest of the map here. Uh, we've got plenty of metal. They have a mine right here that we can take advantage of eventually. There's another one over here as well. But the rest of this is just kind of loose metal ruins. Of course, this is going to be the very first one we get to. And uh, I think we probably are going to be able to play most of this map on one district, if I'm careful with where I put the uh, paths and everything. Definitely this entire thing could be one district for sure. We just have to get there and uh, make sure we're being at least somewhat intelligent with how we have our stuff set up. But for now, all we can do is wait. Oh, I'm feeling very good about our food storage. 
having 350 carrots. We've got some potatoes harvested that we could be grilling. But I think we're doing all right. Everybody's got a place to sleep at least. And I don't think we're going to run out of water, which was a very, uh, a very big concern I had. If they can get this built, then we might actually be okay. So let's get all of these berries harvested. I guess I have to build another, uh, another warehouse, huh? That's fine. We'll just go ahead and build another one of those. That's the one thing I kind of miss about the, uh, the Iron Teeth. Is even though I know they have these same two warehouses, but the vertical log storage was really cool. Some of the other methods they had for resource management I thought were a little better. But these guys are a lot easier to breed. Because you don't have to feed the berries and have water all the time. So if we can get all of this... Oh, those are chestnuts? Where, where do they gather chestnuts from? I thought those were dandelions. Where in the world did they get... Oh! A chestnut tree. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. So we could actually have... Uh, we could have grilled chestnuts if we wanted. We could just build another grill. We just don't have enough beavers to uh, currently do that. So let's actually uh, cut our working hours back a little bit. Give them a little bit more leisure time. Maybe they can uh, make a little bit more beavers. You know. There we go. There's one. Need to get another three or four beaver babies. We're going to be in pretty good shape. I totally forgot about chestnuts. That's cool. Okay. Uh, so we're going to end up building another grill. Right here we'll make that one into chestnuts. Because so what we'll do is we will have uh, this end up being another uh, thing you can walk across. And we'll just cover all this, and then we'll put some more stairs over here, and we can gather the chestnuts that way. Go ahead and get that built. And then I think... I think we can pretty safely pause this and move gather flag over here. That way we can start uh, preparing for this area to be permanently flooded. I am no longer going to worry about demolishing any of this because that's just not worth my time. Yeah, see, now we have we more beaver babies. We're doing good. Making good progress. So as soon as this gets emptied, which uh, hopefully it will, if they, you know, ever get around to doing it. I don't know if they will since I don't have any haulers. No, they will. Okay. Yeah, to get that stuff out of there and we're gonna we're gonna cut this whole thing off. I just can't do it while there's still stuff in there. That's the bad thing about the early game is you spend so much time just waiting doesn't make for the most entertaining content, so apologies for this being slow, but I think we're making good controlled progress. We can't obviously go too crazy because there's kind of a delicate balance of stuff. Like for right now, we only have 34 water left, which is uh, not going to work. We're going to have to be a lot, uh, a lot more careful with how we do stuff in the future. Okay, this is now done, which means these can all go away. All right, this is going to turn into another levee. 
But I guess we'll have to just kind of do one at a time. These are all going to be dams. How wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I guess we could make a... We could kind of inset one of them. Okay, that's done. That'll be a levy. I think we have enough logs stored up where that's going to be hopefully a reasonable thing. All right, come on. If you're not building levee, you should be making more beavers. All right, so nothing happened there. But we do only have one full day of the drought left. I might have lied when I said we we're only going to do three full cycles because we're only at 52 minutes. And I did want to get this completely done before we uh, finish today's episode. So, oh, the dams take so much more. I forgot. All right, we'll make that one the uh, priority here. Get done. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're in a good, good spot. Definitely could have gone much worse, and it definitely did go much worse uh, last night when I was doing this. So I think we can be uh, can be happy with where we are. I just wish they could get these uh, dams built a little faster. And what other kind of sciencey stuff can we unlock with what we have stored up here? Aquatic farmhouse, I'm not worried about just yet. Uh, we are probably going to put an aquatic farmhouse over here with uh, this whole thing. So we'll probably do that next episode. Uh, Power-wise, we can't really do anything else just yet. Metal is completely out of the question. Uh, let's see, well-being stuff we could put in. Campfires, I just haven't wanted to use too much of my wood lately. Because I feel like we really need to be protective of it. Alright, let's get rid of this. Alright, now that's going to flood again. We just have to build piece by piece. It's kind of a meandering path here. We're, we're, we're going to fix this. I'm going to unplant these so when those are harvested that we can uh, just make this path straight. We do need more beaver babies though. Get going. We need more. You know what to do. I'd forgotten just how long it takes to build stuff sometimes. There are some trees to be cut. I don't know why these guys are not cutting trees. Because these are all marked for cutting and it's within their range. So, you know, they really should be really should be cutting. My guy, let's go. Let's start cutting trees. You have one right here. Oh my, are you serious? Okay. That's what I get. <laughs> I literally did not mark that for cutting. Wow. Well, at least I'm fixing this. All right. Let's unpause the water pump because they're going to be getting thirsty. They already are thirsty. Let's, let's go, bucko. Go to work. Or you can just be thirsty. That's fine. They're not going to die. Well, they actually might. Oh, God. All right, come on. Get going. It would be an absolute travesty to have anybody die of thirst after all that. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're going to be... We're going to be in a bad spot. Do I have enough to build another one of these? Twelve... Yeah, we're going to have to build, we're going to have to build a pump right there, because we're going to have to be able to pump. Just go ahead and get rid of those carrots. We absolutely have to have the pump, because that's just not going to go well. 
we don't have that. Has somebody come finish this thing? Come on. You all going to sleep? We need more beaver babies. Let's go. Build the pump. Make some beaver babies. It's not that hard. All right. It's not connected by path. Yes, I know. I know. Now it is. All right, now get pumping. Now I can actually put in another damn piece. I think we'd be doing okay if we didn't... All right, these guys just sitting here? No. We have so much food. You guys can go do something else. Five vacant jobs still? Wow. Alright, let's get this thing going here. Can't possibly take that long. Alright, we're just going to have all hands on deck building this thing. So I got stuff to do. And we're about out of time anyway. We're almost done an hour. I guess I don't really need to be so uh, concerned with this, but... I just, I hate it when it builds out a sequence and then it ruins everything. Alright, build that. Then we'll have to get rid of the stairs and put one more dam in. Which we might actually be able to do before the uh, the drought actually starts. Well, not at this rate. 24 hour work, let's go. Or you can all go to bed. That's uh, That's fine, I guess. <sighs> a lot of people. Seven day drought, okay. Could definitely be worse. But we really need to get this built as soon as possible. Come on. Alright. Damn, let's go get the maximum. Get going, going, going. We're going to lose all our height of water here. Come on. Well, it's all pretty much gone anyway. Oh well. It was an attempt. There we go. Alright. So that's about as good as you can uh about as good as you can get for right now, I guess. We do have a little bit of height here, so I guess that's okay. Could have definitely have been worse. Now we can uh pause this thing. Good news is we have a lot of kits. I guess we can go ahead and come out of turbo speed. But we did get this done. I just need to uh, finish this path here. And uh, eventually this is going to be straight. That's going to be a next episode thing. But you know, for episode one in a hard mode, I think we've done pretty well. Got no complaints. Uh, we've got housing for everybody. We've got some uh, grills that we can't really, uh, you know, do anything with. Because we don't have enough people to run it. Actually, we should probably... Uh, Let them, uh, you know, actually do something. But, uh, yeah. I think we're going to be fine. Don't have to have four of these guys anymore. Why is there still three? Okay. So we got them working here. Don't have anybody making grilled potatoes, which is uh, unfortunate. But we do have somebody pumping water, so we're going to be just fine. And again, I think this is going to have to be where we uh, call it for today. Keep the video right around an hour in length. Just to uh, keep things nice and even. But yeah, not bad for episode one of a hard uh, folktales playthrough. We've got trees. We actually have some uh, pretty big ones that have already grown up. Our maples, which is good to see. We've got storage that's all full. We'll have to figure that out next time. We've got water. We've got farming, we've got a couple different crops, we've got our grilled potatoes, grilled chestnuts, as soon as we have the ability to actually, you know, uh, get people in there. 
And I think we have a lot to look forward to in the next coming episodes. So i uh, love to have you here for the rest of the series. It should be a lot of fun. Again, uh, I've not played hard mode beyond at this point ever. So I'm sure there's going to be some sort of problems that come up. So as always, if you have any ideas, tips, tricks, comments, questions, or uh, want to say that I did something stupid or whatever, <laughs> leave a comment below. I read every comment. I respond when I can, when it's something that's relevant to the discussion. So uh, feel free. I always like talking about the game and everything else. And you guys are always a very helpful and supportive community. So thank you for that. The attraction on the past, I guess, maybe month and a half of Timberborn videos has been unbelievable. And, uh, you know, it's just always so much fun to play the game and do fun stuff like this. Uh, if this is the first video you've ever seen from me, welcome. Uh, I try to do minimally edited as possible, authentic gameplay where I'm not doing any crazy editing or toilet humor or any other garbage that other people seem to enjoy. So if you like the style of video, I would be very, very, very honored if you come back and watch some more. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. It's absolutely free. It costs you nothing. And it really, really, really helps out the channel. And the more people we get to watch these videos, the more fun we all get to have. And that's always a good time. So yeah, we'll have another one of these videos most likely tomorrow with another continuation of our hard mode folktales playthrough. And we have other things in the works as well. And I think Ostrov is going to get an update hopefully before the end of the year. We'll see. And as soon as that happens, you better believe I'm making a bunch of videos on that. But as always, it's so much fun to have everybody here. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. But until we meet again, stay safe, have a good one, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.